Taxi driver juggling news. This is Danny Mann on the Travel Channel. I was on the Travel Channel. Danny Mann, famous in Vegas. Right, juggling taxi. Hey everybody, we got a uh, special celebrity here. He's a uh, world ch uh, champion poker player. Here we go. How you doing, sir? What's going on? How we All doing? All right, good. What's your name? Chris Moneymaker. Chris Moneymaker. Chris, why do they call you Chris Moneymaker? That's my last name, so it makes sense. It makes sense, huh? Yeah. Maker. Maker's your last name? Moneymaker's my last name. Okay. Yep. And uh, tell me a little bit about um, the, the Rio, the ch uh, what's going on with the game right now at the Rio. How's the championships going? 2012 World Series is going on. The main event doesn't start till next month. But okay. The preliminary events, the 5K PLO is tomorrow. Uh huh. So I'm about ready to go in and watch the Heat, uh, the heat? Okay. series, and then I'll probably go play a little poker tonight. Who do you like today in Miami? Miami or, or uh, Oklahoma? Well, I think we talked about it earlier. You got a bet, and I like your bet. So okay, I'm, Miami. I'm gonna go game three, Miami. Okay, and um, tell tell me about something about uh, how the championship uh, like right now is what just the preliminaries. Yeah, well, how it works is there's like tell the world because they don't know. I don't know. Fifty to sixty different events. Okay. And there's they run one or two a day. Okay. And uh, they're usually three day events. And three day the, events. The buy-ins range from a thousand dollars to a million dollars. Oh, nice. And uh, literally they run from like May 29th to July 17th. May 29th, right. July 17th. And what people see on TV is actually the main event usually. That's the that's the big one at the end. Okay. It's a $10,000 buy-in. Um, and that has, you know, 8,000 people. At, or, you know, it, it's grown a lot in the last couple of years. Okay. But, you know, they have all these preliminary events that lead up to that that many people don't know about and don't understand that that's, this is part of the World Series too. Wow. Uh, you're not going to see any of this on TV. This is what, you know, people come out here and move out here for two months to do two this months stuff. Two months to do. Yep. Now tell me what championships you won over the years. Uh, won the you know World Series of Poker at the main event. And then what year? What year? Two thousand three. Can you tell you how much that was? Uh, it was two and a half million. For wow. That one. Yep, it was a good good score. Uh huh. And then uh, don't have a whole lot of other victories. I got some second places, some third places. Well, tell me second place. That's big. Well, you know, I just got second place in NBC Heads Up last year, and I got uh -huh. second place on a, on a World Poker Tour. So okay. Um, you know, I don't play a whole lot because I got family. So, okay. Uh, you know, I got kids. And one year you beat my buddy Tom Benavisti. What yeah. year was that? That was 03. That was zero. Oh, three. You won the main uh, event. That's actually how we got started the conversation. Yeah. Tom uh, Benavisti, my buddy. Uh, your your best friend or one of your buddies. And, one of my buddies. Yeah. Uh, he was on uh, the final table with me, and yeah. I actually ended up busting him when he had his ten jack. He had made he made a good move with ten jack. He's smart, he, huh? He is smart. He, he yeah. Made a really good shove. Yeah. And uh, you know, I made a call with Ace Deuce, which you know, in today's game I might make it, but back then it was probably a loose call. But yeah. uh, you know, it worked out in my favor. Um, How do you compare uh, the players today to back then? I wish I was the player today, um, and I could go back then because the yeah. players back then were terrible compared to the players today. Really, they're a lot yeah. better. Oh, they're so much better. Really. So, I mean, so it's, it's like everything, like football, boxing, everybody gets better. Yeah, it, it's even on. It's a, Sports on drugs because there's so much, so many resources now. Yeah. Uh, online poker really made it to where people could learn faster than I mean, like Doyle Brunson, for example. You know, he played his whole life and he was one of the best players. But wow. kids today can play all the hand, gain all the knowledge he he played, all the hands right? he played in a, a, about a year. Wow. Just because of online poker. Online and, poker. Uh, so it changed everything. It changed everything. Yep. Wow. Uh, somebody young starting out. What would you recommend to them to do to start out? Like a young young person just starting and stay in school. <laughs> stay in school. No, but he wants to be a gambler. What, what would well, you everybody recommend? Everybody wants to be a poker player. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's cool. It's fun. Exciting. I have a backup plan because you know the the problem with it. You know, you see a lot of uh, the young guys starting out. Yeah. And what people don't realize when you declare you want to be a professional poker player, I mean, basically that means you're unemployed. Okay. Uh, you, that you work full time. And uh, you know, if you're if you're a good player and you run good, the money's going to be good. It's nice, and I enjoy it. And you know, a lot of people do enjoy it. Yeah, the problem yeah. is, six years down the road, are you still enjoying it? Yeah. And I, if you're not enjoying it, then you're, you're stuck. Then you're stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, yeah. what else are you going to do? You know, poker to be good, it sort of has to consume you. It has, yeah. You know, you it's like anything. If you're a boxer, you got to train train your yeah. ass off. Yeah. Exactly. It's sort of the same thing in poker. You know, you got to really work at it. And it yeah. It's got to you know. The majority of your life has to revolve around poker, so wow. if you, that's the life you choose. Um, you know, you need to have a backup plan just in case it doesn't work out. Just in case. Yeah, because people are getting better, and they're getting better. They took away online poker last year, so you can't do that. Yeah. So it made it a lot tougher. You know, yeah. and the game's just getting tougher overall. Alrighty, we're gonna we're gonna cut that off right there. Oh, exactly. the PokerStars.net. This is Daniel Mann. Juggling taxi moves. And here we are at the Rio dropping off. Vegas, baby.